The Weyburn Mydale project is looking at the injection of CO2 into an oil reservoir, but really focusing very heavily on the storage of that CO2 in the subsurface. We have a number of opportunities for reducing CO2 emissions. One of the best ways to do that is to capture that CO2 and put it deep underground. This is an opportunity to remove very large volumes of CO2 and prevent them reaching the atmosphere. The CO2 also causes the oil to swell. So if you think of the rock as kind of a rigid sponge, then the oil is stored in the little holes in the rock, but it causes that oil to swell. The rock doesn't change, so the oil is pushed out. The CO2 actually dissolves in the oil and makes that oil flow more easily to the production well. So we get a very effective mechanism for increasing oil recovery. The CO2 enhanced oil recovery is, is very economically efficient. Uh, so not only is it providing us with environmental benefits, the, the company and the province of Saskatchewan gain handsomely from that enhanced oil recovery. The results so far really demonstrate that we can put large volumes in the subsurface. We probably stored about 19 million tons in the subsurface already. On top of that, we're getting more oil out of the ground and are able to use a greener oil, if you like, um, because we're already storing some of the emissions that that oil would have produced. This is a technique that can be applied in, in most parts of the world. We have a particularly good storage location in southern Saskatchewan, but this is applicable in, uh, in very many parts of the world. It's a very good process. We are reducing emissions. We are producing more fuel that we're, we're going to need anyway, and we do offset that oil from other places. This will provide a, a mechanism for annually preventing billions of tons of CO2 from reaching the atmosphere and storing it well away from the atmosphere deep in the subsurface.